My friend Dylan is someone who notices things. His mom is someone who does not. One Friday in January was a busy day like any other until... Music. High notes soar into the ceiling and low notes swooping to the floor. All the notes swirl and sweep around the blur of people who are rushing here and there. The music makes Dylan's body hum and his neck tickle. Mom, wait! The man with the violin sways this way and that. His fingers move quickly. His bow dances across the strings. The music slows and the man's eyes close, as if the music was carrying him away from the bustle bustle of that busy day to somewhere far away. Please, Mom, can't, can't we stop, please? If only we could listen for a minute. Not today, said Mom, not today. The man with the violin leans forward as he plays. Dylan leaned forward, trying to hear. From the violin came the saddest music that Dylan had ever heard. The man turned in his direction. Their eyes met, but down the escalator went. Down, 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 and away. A subway train roars out of the tunnel and into the station. Dylan is trying to hear the music, but there's a screech and a clatter and a roar. On the way home in the subway car, he says to his mum, Do you think that maybe the man will be there again tomorrow? His mum looks at him. What man? I don't remember any man. Which one? At home again. The rain is pattering and the dishes clattering, and a voice on the radio is talking and talking and talking until... Oh! Music! Not just any music, uh uh, -uh. that music! Dylan shouts, that's the man from the subway station, that's him, that's the man with the violin! The music on the radio fades again, and a voice tells the story. Today, hundreds of people had a chance to listen to one of the world's finest musicians. With no fancy suit, Joshua Bell, the great violinist, looked like any other person on the street. It was a concert, but a concert, one to which almost no one stopped to listen. I knew it, I knew it, said Dylan. We should have stopped. We should have stopped and listened. And then the music came back, slipping and sliding through the air. In his imagination, Dylan could see that man with the violin standing up on his tippy toes at the subway station, reaching the highest notes. His mother turns up the radio. The music fills the apartment. Every corner is full. Together, Dylan and his mother dance. Together, this time, they listen. Hey, Wonder Kids. So, that book, The Man with the Violin, it's a made-up story, but it's a made-up story telling a true story. Huh. Let me explain. So Dylan and Dylan's mom are characters from the imagination of the author. So the person who wrote the book made up Dylan and the mother. But the true story, the story that he's telling, is how children wanted to listen to this violin player. So it's true that one day, Joshua Bell, the world's most famous violin player. People would pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a ticket to go see Joshua Bell play the violin. And he went down one day, didn't tell anyone who he was, didn't wear his fancy clothes. He just went and took his violin down to the busy subway station and he started to play. 
he played for almost an hour. And you know what? Only seven people stopped to listen. And they say that almost every single child who walked by, almost every kid, tried to get their grown-ups to stop. And most of them didn't listen. 